Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane. If you are new, welcome back if you're returning. I'm a 90s kid. I was born in 1993, so Backstreet Boys and NSYNC I grew up with. They're extremely nostalgic to me. That was the first time I ever heard the name Justin Timberlake. Now, truthfully, I haven't been very fond of our friend Justin ever since I read Britney's book. I have a lot of my own opinions about that. However, I don't really like coming on camera and just gossiping about celebrities. However, when they commit a crime, then all bets are off the table, I'm making a video about you. I want to say before we get into our story that I got all of my information from BBC. Anything added is all my opinion, we'll just say alleged, I don't want to get sued. I'm basically just reacting to what was made public to the public. With that being said, what could Justin have done to land himself on my channel? Our pop star was born in 1981 in Memphis, Tennessee. NSYNC is what really launched him into stardom in the 1990s. And just for some context, he is married to Jessica Biel and they have two children. Now BBC claims that in New York, Mr. Timberlake was arrested Tuesday morning after driving intoxicated. Oh, wonderful. 43-year-old Timberlake was in Sag Harbor when he was detained and he was released without bail after being formally charged. Allegedly, police took notice of Timberlake's driving after he was weaving out of his lane as well as failing to stop at a stop sign. The police noted that, quote, the pop star's eyes were bloodshot and glossy. You tell me. And there was a strong smell of alcohol on the pop star's breath. Allegedly, the police also note that his speech was slow and they also performed sobriety tests, which supposedly he performed poorly to, as well as also refusing a breathalyzer. Timberlake was quoted saying, I only had one martini and I followed my friends home. A virtual court date has been set for July 26th at the Sag Harbor Court. His lawyer, Edward Burke Jr., is quoted here saying he will vigorously defend his client and is currently engaged in the discovery process with the district attorney's office. Timberlake has currently been touring the U.S. promoting his sixth album, Everything I Thought I Was. Everything We Thought You Were. And this was due to launch internationally next week. So I guess we will see, Mr. Timberlake, if this DUI is going to put a hold on anything. Justin has spoken in the past about wanting to seek help for excessive drinking. However, actions speak louder than words and getting behind the wheel intoxicated is not okay. And I'm just glad he was pulled over before anybody got hurt. As a celebrity or anybody, you should already know this without saying you are not above the law. I will link resources I can find down below. But if there is a case you want me to touch on, let me know below and I will see you in my next one.